hello folks so this is the continuation of previous video where i started developing the front uh, end for our uh, sentiment analysis app there i briefly introduced flask as well as different components of it i also explained uh, you know some of the code involved with respect to our sentiment analysis application i also covered how to declare uh, decorators uh, to provide end point for our uh, you know home page of our uh, app okay using slash in this video i am going to proceed further to cover code related to accepting sentiment uh, text or sentence from user uh, you know using a text box from uh, the user interface we are going to build and then providing that text to our lstm model and predicting the output from that text and then uh, i'm going to store that output in a variable so that same can be provided as a response to the user on flask web page so please watch this video till the end to get the complete information folks this is nitin welcoming you to the ai university channel where you can learn all of your favorite digital technologies like machine learning deep learning ai big data hadoop virtual reality and cloud computing and you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields this channel takes on hands on approach to build the ai based products and applications so if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing to uh, our channel and if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so before moving forward uh, with uh, showing the code uh, for uh, you know the remaining code for our app i would like to uh, let you know that uh, you know uh, the sentiment analysis dot h file h uh, five file which is a pre trained lstm model uh, which we trained in the previous videos uh, okay uh, so basically after train uh, after training that model i saved that model with the name sentiment analysis underscore model underscore new dot h5 so let me show you so i saved our model with this name sentiment underscore analysis underscore model underscore new dot h5 in the lstm model uh, we were built using keras in the previous videos right so uh, uh, you know i then downloaded this file on my local system uh, directory which is uh, this ai app right if you see this ai app folder or directory i have kept this sentiment analysis file uh, sentiment analysis dot h5 file here so this is the same file we saved uh, you know as a part of our lstm model so what i did was uh, i kept this file downloaded it downloaded by uh, you know right clicking on it and clicking on download so once you click on download this file can be saved on your local system after that i uh, actually renamed this file to sentiment underscore analysis dot h5 okay which is here right so this is the same file this file which is stored on google colab location as a part of uh, lstm model we built so i downloaded it as i told you earlier by right clicking on it and uh, clicking on download button and saved it on my this location which is uh, this particular folder is available on my local laptop system okay and i kept that file in the root of this ai app okay so i kept it here and i renamed the uh, name to sentiment and underscore h file in order to keep the name short okay so from the usability perspective so let's quickly move on to the code uh okay so this is my h5 file and i covered the code in the last video till this point right now i am going to explain this particular code today okay so i explained the decorators in the previous videos and uh, here i am going to define another uh, decorator where the associated endpoint is this sentiment analysis prediction endpoint okay so when the user enters any text in this uh, let me open the uh, app as well which we developed okay so this is my application 
so when the user enters any text inside this box let us say if i enter this text okay inside uh, this text box and presses submit button okay then it is submitted as a post request to the server so there are several uh, requests uh, like post get uh, which are associated with rest apis okay so when the user presses the submit button uh, then it is submitted as a post request to the server now at the server side we have our um, uh, we have stored our lstm model okay so the lstm model li uh, lies at the server end so this model when receives the incoming uh, input text like this one okay uh, then uh, it provides corresponding predictions okay so it takes this text as an input and provides a corresponding uh, prediction as an output the server then return uh, you know the uh, return back the predicted response as a get request to the client side okay and if you are wondering what is the client side then uh, please note that this particular front end which is a html front end shown here uh, and which I'm going to explain in the next video. So this is the home.html file. Okay, so th uh, this is the front end of our application. Okay, and the model LSTM model is kept at somewhere on the server. So I created this uh, separate endpoint sentiment analysis prediction to add the functionality explained above. I created a function underneath this uh, decorator decorator which is this one route okay decorator uh, underneath this decorator which is denoted by route uh, and this decorator tells uh, so this is the function which I created okay and this decorator tells the application which URL should call the associated function so in this function I'm first checking the condition if the client is uh, uh, if the uh, checking the condition if the client request is post okay so if it is post uh, request then uh, I'm extracting the text portion from the request which is I'm doing here so I'm just extracting the text portion from the request please note that when request is posted several other metadata is also included by default and the entire data travels as one long string of metadata in which our original text is also included same is the case with get request okay so the response codes like 200 404 500 are the examples of metadata uh, which is by default added with these requests okay so i extracted the text portion which uh, we entered on the front end okay so this text this is the text which I entered and I extracted that text here okay then I initialized uh, sentiment analysis variable sentiment variable as a blank here so that it doesn't store any garbage value because I'm going to use this sentiment variable here somewhere here you can see that right in fact it is sentiment okay right so i have initialized that okay then i in uh, uh, then i defined a maximum review length here okay as 500 which we also did uh, when uh, we were developing the lstm model so if you want to get more details uh, on the same then click on the i button above okay then in the next line i initialized uh, keras imdb dot get word indexed uh, method in order to convert individual words into numerical id form i explained this portion as well in the uh, you know um, uh, link provided earlier uh, in the i button okay so you can go through that uh, particular uh, video to get the complete details okay so in the next line i am initializing variable strip uh, special characters with special characters so that I can check and remove any special characters from the text we provided on the front end so this particular variable stores all the special characters okay that's what I'm doing here so I'm using the regular expression library for that purpose so I'm storing all the regular uh, all the special characters in this variable okay 
in the next line uh, first i am converting the ent our entire uh, you know text into lower case here as you can see okay uh, from consistency perspective and then replacing any html tags with blank values here okay so if i encounter any uh, html tag uh, in our um, uh, text which we provided through front end here okay then it will be stripped out or it will be taken away or replaced by blank okay it will be uh, replaced by blank so in the next line i'm substituting any special characters with blank value as you can see here so i'm using sub method to uh, basically substitute any special characters with blank values okay and converting it to lower at the same time so at this moment uh, our text is free from special characters as well as our uh, any html tags and it is in lower case form as well so in the next line i am splitting up uh, our text into a list of words here okay here okay in the next line i am converting each word into its corresponding numeric ids here okay numeric ids because our neural network model in fact any machine learning model uh, can only understand the numbers in order to provide predictions since we want to limit the maximum length of our text uh, length of the text uh, we are providing to our model as 500 hence any text with length greater than 500 will be truncated and if the length of the text is less than 500 then it would be padded with zeros using uh, the method pad dot sequences in the next line here okay so it, it will be padded with null values okay uh, so now in the next line i'm flattening the uh, word uh, word ids to a single string of word ids and for that i am using this flatten function okay and uh, then i am storing the result into the variable called vector here okay as you can see here so next i am using model uh, dot predict to get the probability uh, of our classification value if the probability value is close to zero then it is depict, it depicts a strong negative value if it is close to one then it depicts a strong positive value okay in the next line uh, i'm using model dot predict uh, underscore classes okay to get the class values which is zero for negative sentiment and uh, one for positive sentiment okay in uh, in the next cell uh, i'm checking uh, the class values okay here so i'm using this class checking the class values if the value is zero then i'm assigning sentiment as negative okay and if it is one then i'm assigning the value as positive okay and right below where i'm assigning these uh, sentiment values right below this okay uh, I am actually storing the corresponding emoji image okay emoji or the emoticons so that uh, the emoji can be displayed in the emotion section of our front end which is this section emotion section okay so I am utilizing this em emotion okay section to show that emoticons here so this is the section which actually shows that or this is the image which is basically this is the image sad emoji which is shown here okay so please note uh, that i'm using os.path.join to retrieve corresponding image from the folder location where we have stored uh, uh, which we have stored on the server so you can see that these emojis uh, uh, emoji images are stored in a sub folder called img pool here okay so uh, this this particular folder is the one where these images are stored here okay uh, which is inside the static folder okay finally i am rendering our uh, home page okay which is home.html so i am rendering uh, this uh, home page by using render template okay and uh, while rendering the home page i am passing the variable values like uh, text then uh, sentiment value 
probability values of these are these values probability sentiment text which was above defined above and then image which is img file name which is this img file name okay uh, which so this sentiment value is either positive negative probability value score so all these are passed as uh, parameter to this rend return render function okay so please note that sentiment will be displayed on sentiment section and probability will be displayed in the probability section of the front end here so sentiment which is this value okay will be displayed here either negative or positive and this is same as negative or positive which we have defined here and then probability which is this probability value is, is shown on this probability section as this value okay so you can see that so i will be catching these variable val values so these variable values will be caught in this home.html file okay which i am going to explain in the next video okay so which is our home.html file so i will be catching catching these variable values in our home.html file okay and last but not the least uh, the the code this particular code if name uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to main uh, tells us that when you run when you run uh, your python script python assigns the name underscore underscore main underscore underscore to the script when it get executed and uh, if we import let us say another script the if statement will prevent other script from running okay so when we run app.py it will change its name to underscore underscore main underscore underscore and only then will that if uh, statement get activated okay so right underneath i am uh, first calling the init function here okay uh, to initialize the model and in the last statement i am just running the app our actual app which we defined above here okay so here we defined app right so we are running this app here okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i covered the remaining code for app.py file in this video so let me ask you a question from today's video what is the usage of flatten function uh, when preparing text data for predictions please post your comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section given below. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.